Hearts fans poured into Tynecastle in the thousands for the opening league match. Ferguson was certainly one of the major attractions and he was keen to establish himself right from the start as a Tynecastle favourite. St Mirren were missing Icelandic striker Gutmundur Torfason, but they had their German star Thomas Stickrut ready to start the season in his favourite position on the right side of midfield. It was Hearts though who settled first and John Robertson had a chance in the 14th minute. A good save by Campbell Money, but with Scotland's assistant coach Craig Brown in the stand, Robertson would have hoped to do better. That disappointment was underlined four minutes later when the skill of George Shaw set up a goal for St Mirren. His cross was missed by Stickrot and Mark McWalter, but finally knocked in by Paul Kinnaird to give the men from Paisley an unexpected lead. In reply, Hearts forced the corner and Derek Ferguson almost produced an equaliser. St Mirren were not simply defending though and McWalter almost put them two ahead after a great run at the other end. Hearts were now desperate to get back in level terms and even left back Tosh McKinley came close after a strong run into the St Mirren box. In the second half, Hearts began to apply the kind of pressure everyone including St Mirren had expected in the first and again it was John Robertson who was in the thick of the action almost being rewarded for superb reflexes. A few minutes later, St Mirren's rearguard action was held together by fullback Fraser Wishart. Heading clear with Gary Mackay waiting to pounce. But by now it was only a matter of time before Hearts finally made the breakthrough. The crucial pass came from Scott Crabb and the cross from John Colquhoun. Perhaps a touch from defender Tom Black, but no doubt in John Robertson's mind about claiming the goal for himself. Five minutes later, Hearts were looking for the winner. Colquhoun's corner to Levine, but another fine save from Campbell Money to cap a solid match. St Mirren tried to snatch the two points just before the end, but Stickrot's control deserted him. Nevertheless, he had a good 90 minutes, and as the players left the field at the end, it was obvious that St Mirren were the more satisfied side. And manager Tony Fitzpatrick would already be looking forward confidently to the two clubs' return meeting on Wednesday in the Skull Cup, a match which will be live and exclusive on the Sports Channel.